As the city awakens to yet another morning, a beast prepares to prowl the streets. first love started when i was in my when i was born i was born with the beat of the bullet because next door there used to be a sub inspector and in olden days uh, you know the inspectors used to drive the bullets so i used to always wake up with the bullet sound i was working with a firm and uh, my manager was the owner of the club and uh, i used to see this guy riding and one day i was like so fascinated i was, i went up to him and asked him what's this and he said we'll talk later and i've been pestering him for the last what 8 months to give him reasons as to why i wanted the bullet i used to always sit on this guy's bullet and i used to tell him when i was in school you know i i will buy a bullet and i used to ask my father for it so that day this guy was saying you know if you ever buy a bullet buy it from your own money and the passion started when i saw the bike itself the the thump the way it moved it just it just blended every royal enfield owner has a similar tale what starts as a fascination turns into an obsession The obsession began in the 1890s when the Royal Enfield Company was set up in Redditch, Worcestershire, England. Founded by Albert Eady and R. W. Smith, the Royal Enfield was a brand of the Enfield Cycle Company. In 1955, the company partnered with Madras Motors to assemble bikes for the Indian Army and the police. The Redditch-based company continued to produce a wide variety of bikes like this flying flea till it went bankrupt after the english company closed in 1970 enfield india took over as custodian of the classic motorbike it was and remains the world's only producer of the bullet bike which it continues to manufacture to this day Even the small servicing garages have survived the test of time. Jaffer Ali's garage has stood in Egmore for over 70 years, servicing the Royal Enfields rolling off the assembly line. Today, Jaffs, as it is called, caters exclusively to the needs of bullet owners and their bikes. This one, this one is the third generation shop. My father started in 1944, and then my brother and me also. Now I am doing. My son also is doing the. Uh, modified bikes. So I was started for 15 years. I was started in 15 years. Now I'm uh, 51. 35 years I experience for the, these bikes. Jaff's garage is as old, if not older, than the Bullet legacy in India. The flourishing business is testimony to the enduring appeal of the Royal Beast. The Bullet today has found its place in popular imagination. For bulleteers Ram and David, these bikes are an indispensable part of life. They belong to the Madras Bulls, a brotherhood of Enfield enthusiasts. We commonly call us uh, Madras Bulls, which basically stands for Madras Bulls Motorcycle Club. Uh, started pretty long time back. Actually, it, it was started when I was in college. Basically, we are just a group of uh, bulleteers who love to experience freedom on the roads. So this is what Madras Bulls is all about: riding with with the freedom, with the sense of freedom. And right there, you have a bullet passing through. For these two, Madras Bulls is more than a fellowship of a few bulleteers. It gives them a sense of belonging. Every club has its ego built into it, but this is one club where I have seen there was no ego. When we go for a ride, we go with the Chennai Jets, which is the RD 350. we go with the xbhp we do not have any ego we don't say you know we are bullet years you know we are two steps ahead of you don't even come near this this you can never see in any other club clearly it is not enough to own a bullet to be a member of the madras bulls you know be yourself and gel with the crowd that's all and thirdly you need to have the passion for riding exactly
royal bullets don't just live in people's garages but in their owners hearts what it was in 1920 it's still what it is today and for 86 years if a model has survived that shows about the simplicity of the design and that also shows it's timeless at the same time it's a old bike so it comes out with every goddamn thing you stand at the signal and you see this puny 100 little 100 cc bike i just smoke you off i mean you are still dud 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 going you know it, and you hit the bike you just stop it and then you go and you will find me in the lunch time coming back and polishing and wiping my bike saying i'm so sorry so it's almost like a girlfriend boyfriend relationship each bullet is different from the thump to the looks what makes every bullet unique is which you will not find in any other manufacturer is if you can see the lines on the tank you can see the golden lines this is hand painted this is the only bike in the world where still a labor hand paints your bike though they love their bullets they have immense respect for other bike owners everyone has their own choices i guess they'll mature soon enough to know that the a man rides a bullet while a boy rides a bike So the next time you're walking alone on the street watch out the beast is on the prowl